Chunk of dimensions are controlled by properties. When you select a dimension, the properties panel shows you the many, many different types of properties that control the look of a dimension. It would be annoying to have to go through all the dimensions and change the properties one by one in order to achieve the look you want. Fortunately, there's a shortcut. It's called the dimension style. Dimension styles are controlled through a dialog box. To access the dialog box, click on the annotate button, and then in the dimensions panel, click on this little button here in the corner. That opens up the dialog box. On the left, we have a list of styles. And you can see there's only one right now called SPDS. In the middle, there's a preview. It gives you a kind of an idea of what it looks like. And then over here is where you create new ones, modify existing ones, and so on. Let's start by creating a new one that just makes one change to the existing style. Click New. You can see that NanoCAD fills in for you a name for it. I am going to keep that. And down here you can see that you can have different styles for different kinds of dimensions. So you could have a style that's specific to linear ones and then one that's different for angular dimensions. But for now we'll just say All Dimensions because that's the easiest one. With the new style created, click OK. Here is the dialog box for manipulating the look of styles. So we have a section that deals with the lines, like dimension lines and extension lines. This one deals with arrowheads. This one deals with dimension text. The fit section is for how text and arrows fit when dimensions are small. This one specifies the units. This one specifies alternative units. And alternative units are if you want to have, for example, dual dimensions, one in metric, one in imperial. And then finally there's a tab where you can add in tolerances, upper and lower values. So I'm going to make a very simple change just to show how styles work. I'm going to change the arrowhead from architectural tick to closed fill. And then I click OK. You can see in the preview that the arrowheads have changed from a slash to the full arrowhead. For here is a compare button that lets you see the differences between two different dimension styles. Here is the two different arrowheads for the two different styles. So let's close and see how the dimension style now works. To draw a dimension with the new style, click on the annotate tab and then from this drop list choose the new style. Start the MDIM command and dimension something. So I'll click this length and then click there. And now you can see that the arrowheads are different from the other dimension style. Dimensions retain the style with which they were drawn. That's why this dimension has one style, this one a different one. They were drawn when two different dimension styles were in effect. You can change the style of a dimension by selecting it, and then from the Properties panel, change the DIM style. Notice that it now has the arrows. This can be tedious if you want to change the DIM style of all dimensions. So the way to do that is to come over to the Properties, choose Select Similar Object, choose one of the dimensions, press Enter. Notice that all other linear dimensions are selected. And then you can come into DIM style. Once again, choose the new one. And when you press Escape, all the linear dimensions share the same style. You can override the properties of a dimension even as you're drawing it. So I'm going to start the MDIM command, choose this line, but then I'm going to come down here to the command bar and click on properties. And up comes this edit dimension dialog box. So I'm going to stick in some text here, prefix text, put in some suffix text and some text underneath. And here I can change the uh, arrowhead. Here I can have the uh, text boxed. And as I'm making these changes, NanoCAD is updating them in real time. This one changes the scale. This is for calculating the value, changing the text style, global options. And if you want to match the properties from an existing dimension, do it like that. Click OK. And then the dimension you draw takes on those properties. The next dimension you draw will revert back to the style that's active.